Hi there, boys and girls. So I had some questions about our Lego assignment, so I thought I would create a little bit of a video tutorial. So I'm gonna go to classwork and click on my Lego self-portrait assignment and view assignment. Then I'm going to hit add or create and come all the way down to drawings. So a reminder that this is supposed to be a self-portrait, meaning it is of you. So it needs to be about you. It needs to look like you. So the very first thing I'm going to do is start with my head. So I'm going to go to shapes. I like this kind of um, rounded square box. I think it looks like a little Lego head. And Legos are yellow, so I'm going to fill it in yellow. Then I'm going to add in maybe a little square for the neck. Again, I want that to be yellow. I'm going to add in the body. Um, so I'm coming back up here to shapes and... I am going for, I think I'm gonna use this shape right here. Looks kind of like a body with rounded shoulders there. Now I want my shirt to be, I think, blue. And I think I'm gonna just shorten that a little bit. So now I have a shirt, I'll make um, my pants. So I'm gonna come up here to the shapes and I will click probably just um, the regular rectangle box. Okay, I'm gonna Apple or Control D for duplicate. And I've got some blue pants on. Now I can make a sh uh, arms. Again, it depends on the shape that you want to use. Um, I think I'm just gonna use the square again, rectangle I mean, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it and then put it up here. And then what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna click send, I'm gonna go to arrange, order, send backward. Okay, that didn't do quite enough. So let's check arrange, order, send to back. And now you can see the arm is kind of behind the shirt. I like the way that that looks a little bit better um, than it being on top. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna control duplicate. Turn it this direction, put my shirt, my arm on, and arrange, order, send to back. So then I would change my shirt color to match my shirt. And I am going to add in my details. So for the eyes, I'm going to use a little circle probably make those a really dark blue like my eyes are. You could also do black. Duplicate that, make a second one. Um, I had somebody ask how to make eyelashes. If I was gonna make eyelashes, I'd probably come up here and use this line tool. And now it's gonna be really hard to see at first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna drag it up, okay? Click, drag up, click, drag up, click, drag up. Now you don't have to do eyelashes. I didn't in my original example, but I'm showing you here just because somebody had asked how to do them. Now you can see my uh, cursor still looks like a plus sign. So I wanna make sure I click back on the arrow before I do anything else. I need a mouth, so I'm gonna go into my shapes. I think I'm gonna choose a smile. Right now it looks kinda like a frown but I can just grab that toggle and turn it upside down and have a nice smile. Okay, and then for my hair, my hair is pretty curly and wavy. Um, so in my first example, I had used lightning bolts. Here, I think I'm actually gonna use this guy and I'm gonna kind of just stretch it out like this to the side, maybe turn it a little bit, add it into that uh, reddish burgundy-ish color. Um, maybe do that again. You know, give myself a little hair on top. I want that same color. Okay, so think about how you're going to be using your shapes to create these different designs. So a lot of times it involves layering them, like doing multiple layers, and that is totally fine. 
Um, oh, I forgot hands. So for my hands, I'm just gonna use a little tiny rectangle. Let's make that yellow. Let's duplicate that. I'm gonna turn it. So there's my wrist. If you've ever seen a Lego person, you know they have like the wrists. There we go. Let's turn this one over here and slide it on. And then they usually have that like smile or um, crescent shape for the hand. So I'm gonna kind of make my hands like this and I'm just gonna duplicate that. So I'll bring this hand over here. Oop. There we go. Maybe make that a little bit bigger. There we go. And make this one a little bigger. Now, if you ever don't like that it's outlined in black, you can change that just by coming up here to the border color and change that to yellow. All right, I don't mind the black outline, but that's me. So now that my person is done, um, we need a background. So I'm gonna go to the mountains search the web and you can choose Lego background. You can choose nature background, outside background, any of that kind of stuff. Because this is a Lego person, I kind of thought a Lego background might be fun. I think I'm gonna choose green, insert. I'm gonna pull that all the way over my person, but never fear, because now I'm going to go to arrange, order, and send to back. So we can see my person is there. Oh, I forgot feet. See, even Mrs. Burke forgets things. So I'm gonna add some squares, feet. I like to do the background last because um, I have a hard time seeing my shapes if I do the background before that. You can do the background whenever you want. Sorry, my cats are playing in the background. I don't know if you can hear them. <laughs> They're pretty loud. Uh, oops, I did the wrong color because I got distracted. And there is my Lego self-portrait. So I look forward to seeing what you boys and girls come up with. And remember, once you're done, we have to come back here and hit the turn it in button. That's super important. Alrighty, have a great day.